All right. Let's see if we can flip this guy around. We're going to pasteurize some cider. All right, we'll get the burner all set up. <clears throat> this stuff's been racked once already. And uh, we'll get the burner going. Kind of hooked up on a whim today, but uh, underway. All right, behind me, we got the kettle going. It's about th about three weeks worth of fermenting five gallon batch of cider, pasteurize it, stop any fermentation from starting back up, secondary after I back sweeten it with some sugar, and it'll be ready to go. Throw it in the keg, chill it, carbonate it, it'll be set. Kind of a mess. It's been a little while, but keg is on CO2 in the kegerator. Should be carbonated in five days to a week, I would say. And we're sitting at good pressure. Till then. All right, that batch of cider is kegged and carbonating. It's always tough after you haven't brewed in a little while to kind of get back up on the horse to to get it going because it does take a lot of time. It's a very time consuming hobby, especially when you want to do it right. And I don't know anybody that likes to screw it up because, well, it takes forever. So anyhow, probably be brewing a batch of beer with a friend of mine next week. And I'm thinking we'll probably have to enjoy some ice cold cider, give it the taste test, make sure that it's, make sure it's still good, right? So anyways, until then.